Today I'm going to boldly go where no man has gone before. At least where no fat guy has gone before. Don't go away. Hello everybody and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we're going to take something from this box and we're going to do something I've never done before. Never tried this before, but this should be a game changer. Okay, so let's say you live in a small apartment. You don't have a lot of room for a turntable and a a receiver and a preamp and speakers and all of that kind of stuff. But you really want to get back into vinyl. Let's say your your budget is restrictive, okay? And you don't have a ton of money to spend on all these gadgets and stuff. I'm going to show you how to get back into vinyl using just two items from Fluons. Okay, so what I have here is a set of AI41 powered bookshelf speakers from Fluons. Now, you know I love Fluons, okay? I've got a whole thing with them. I love, their turntables are amazing. I've got the uh, RT82, which is my current day-to-day -day turntable, and I've got my RT81, which uh, I haven't been using because I didn't really have a setup for it. Okay, all that changes today, all right? Now, Fluence was kind enough to send me these AI41s so that I could do this video for you and show you how you can use just these speakers and a turntable and be back into vinyl. It's going to be awesome. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get these out of the box, and I'm going to talk about what we're going to do as I'm doing it, and then we're going to set it all up and take a look at it, okay? So anyhow... These are the AI41 powered speakers. They're five inch bookshelf speakers. Um, and I, I'm excited about this whole concept because this is gonna allow me to, to break into my uh, RT81 turntable and has set that up somewhere else in the house so I'll have the, the main turntable where I, I work and listen to my music. And then I'll be able to have uh, music in a whole different area in the house thanks to this setup. So, how is this gonna work? Well, you know, I, I've told you before that to listen to music, you need a certain number of things. You need a turntable. Obviously, you need records. You need a preamp. You need a, an amplifier or a receiver of some type. And you need speakers. So, how are we going to make this work? Because here's the deal. If, if you have a regular old turntable and you plug it right into anything, you're going to have no volume, okay? It's going to be awful. And the reason is the, the, the sound that comes out of your turntable is, is very, very quiet. So you need a preamp to kick that sound in the pants, all right? And then that sound is shipped over to your receiver, and your receiver then takes it, and uh, that's where you control your volume and your balance and your, your treble and your bass and all those things. And then that is sent out to your speakers. So you take any one part of that out, and it becomes a problem for you, okay? Well, here's the deal. I'm going to move the table here for a second. I'll probably bring it back in a minute. Here's the deal. The uh, RT81 turntable by Fluence has a built-in preamp in it. So we've just immediately gotten rid of one component. Okay? Now all we need is the RT81, a receiver, and speakers. How can we get rid of something else? Well, right here with these Fluence powered speakers. By having a set of powered speakers and a turntable with a built-in preamp in it, you are good to listen to music. Powered speakers means that they supply their own power supply, they have their own volume control, they have their own balance, balance control, they have their own 
uh, connections. And so everything is right here. You couple it with the RT-81 and you've got music, okay? So this is a very exciting thing. And it's going to be fantastic for a small room setup or a lower budget setup. So looking at the box, we have the little Fluent uh, Quick Start Guide, okay? And it shows that uh, you get the two speakers, the remote control, AA battery, uh, AAA batteries, the power cable, speaker wire, uh, quick start guide, lifetime customer support, and the two-year warranty. Now this is the smaller set of powered speakers that Fluence offers. Uh, so if you want a little more bang for your buck, you can certainly do that. But this shows you all the, the things to setting that up, and we're going to do that today. We're going to set this up. Now, I like the YouTube platform. I'm a fan. This is just a, a little catalog type thing. Um, I, I'm a fan, uh, but here's the deal. You can't play any music, okay? You just can't. Uh, somebody will do a monetization claim or you'll get a copyright strike. So I'm not going to be able to let you hear this. And so today you're going to just have to trust me when I tell you my opinion. And you're going to have to trust that I, I wouldn't lie to you, okay? I'm, I'm going to tell you really what I'm thinking here. Okay, so there's a power cord, speaker wire, batteries, remote, empty box. All right, here we go. Let's get these. Okay, oh, these, this nice, these come out. Okay, so again, uh, I, I don't know if I've said this about Fluence, I know this box is made to direct ship. They're not made to be displayed and stuff like that. I wish the box looked a little better, but it is very, very sturdy, and it's going to definitely hold the, the speakers and keep them really safe, and so far, so, wow. Okay, that's pretty impressive looking. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I am excited about this, folks. Man, I can't tell you, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. Okay, let's get this out of here. And i got to move the table without cutting the foot off of a dog. Okay, so, yeah. I, I have the other turntable. And I just have really, I, you know, I don't want it. Here's my deal. I have room and stuff. I, there's a lot of places I could put this. Um, I have room. I, I can afford a receiver and stuff. But really, why would I want to buy a whole other receiver for a turntable setup in a room where I'm not going to use it as much? Uh, it's it's going to get light usage. And so, uh, yeah, this, this is a, a really good solution for me. And, uh, you know, it may really fit into your world, too. So let's first talk about this remote. It's, it's beautiful. Okay, I, I, I know that sounds stupid. It is beautiful. It's got this sort of a, a brushed black finish on it, unlike anything I've seen on a remote before. So the remote is beautiful, very simple, volume, forward, backwards, power, mute, I don't know what some of these are, treble and bass, you know, so I don't know what some of these are, but yeah, it, it's got a really great finish. I'll try and get a good look, a good picture of this for you and, and show it to you right here somewhere. But yeah, it, it's really a nice looking remote. Okay, I know that sounds stupid. So here, here they are. Here are the Fluence AI41 speakers. Let's get these things up wrap. Now they come in different colors. They come in, I believe, the, the piano black, and they come in the walnut, and they come in a, a light color, maybe even a white. I don't remember all the colors. Uh, I chose a set that would match up with the turntable I have, my uh, RT81. Here we go. Look at that. Wow. Tell me that is not dead sexy. Okay, nice 
heavy speaker, okay? It's not light, all right? Two points. Okay, wow, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful walnut finish on it. Okay, uh, here you've got the, one of the controls. I, I, I think this must be sensors for the remote. This is probably volume. Here you've got one speaker and another. And I know they sell a base unit that you can get with this. And then if we look in the back, let's see what we have here. Okay, we've got, uh, all right, so we've got uh, speaker connections, RCA connections, power switch, uh, power cord. Uh, I can't tell what that is. We've got a little air chamber for, for moving air, a little cloth. Canada flag there. That's a pretty nice little touch. But, man, this is beautiful, okay? It's got this beautiful black front grille and then this walnut finish around it. It is a really nice-looking speaker. And that other thing is a optical input. And then the, I see a Bluetooth symbol on these. So that could be really super cool if these are Bluetooth because... Now, you can also stream from your phone right to your powered speakers. And this is the right speaker. So, I didn't know. I did not know these were Bluetooth, okay? Um, that is a pretty cool little uh, uh, unexpected surprise, if you will. Now, listen. You know I love Fluence, okay? I've told you about Fluence before. I really love their products because they feel very kind of a... Um, retro, uh, especially because, you know, they make the turntables. And, and now we're going to get our first foray into their, their speakers. So uh, here's my biggest complaint with Fluence. Where is the Fluence retro-looking receiver? I want a brand new receiver made by Fluence with all the 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 great lighted dials in the in the the, the AM FM tuner section and, and nice switches and, and dials and stuff and I want all of the joy that you got in old fashioned old school receivers, but I want it in a Fluence package. So Fluence, look, you guys are killing it. Okay, imagine what you could do with the receiver. I am. And every time I do a video, I say something about it, that I want a receiver. So uh, hopefully they will start listening to me, and soon we can expect a receiver. Here we go. Let's, let's turn them around. Let's take a look at them. Okay. There is my Fluent AI41 speakers with their remote in all their glory. And don't they look fantastic? Hey, let's get a thumbnail. There you go. Okay, that should do it. I should be able to get a thumbnail out of that. So anyhow, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this and we're going to set them up with my Fluence RT81 turntable. And then I'm going to queue up an album and I'm going to give it a listen and I'll tell you what I think about it. So... Uh, let's get these moved into the other room and get them all set up. Okay, so we're going to just set it up on this table here. This is the box for my RT82 that I had, uh, that I have, and I put the RT81 in here. So I have the, uh, old head shell and cartridge. I won't be reusing that. Uh, I got the power cord for it. RCA cable, which we'll need. Okay. All right. So let's pick this up out of here. Oops, it's Torm's not latched down. Down. There. 
All right, so the head shell, the head shell and the cartridge should still be aligned because I never changed those. All I'm gonna have to do is double check the, uh, the balance and the anti-skate and all that stuff. I shouldn't have to really worry about it anymore. Okay, so there's that. Oh, I got the cartridge on there. See, it just drops like a rock, okay? Drops like a rock. Let's uh, kick it out. Oh, jeez. Way off. Okay, so. All right. Because you put it to zero before you do the balance and stuff. And the first thing I have to do is I just have to get the tone arm to balance. So right now it's popping a wheelie. And right now it's too far down. That's really good. Okay, so put that back over there. All right. Okay, so when setting uh, the RT81 with the original Audio Technica cartridge, uh, the setting that it wants is a two. So we first turn this to zero. All right, lock this in place. And now we turn the whole thing to uh, two. It's really hard to see. See that? So I've got the downforce set to two, and now I'll turn the anti skate to two. Uh, one, two. Just always remember the anti skate generally matches the uh, balance for the, the needle, okay, for the tone arm. Okay, so we've got that all set. I'm gonna lock this back because I gotta move this around a little bit. All right, so let's get this turned so we can see everything here. All right, starting with the turntable stuff. All right, now let's, uh, let's put this down for a second. And I'm gonna show you a diagram of this, but basically you've got your RCAs for your audio output you got a ground wire, you have phono or line, and you have uh, the auto stop sensor, and you got your power inlet. Now the phono and line, that is what you use to turn your preamp on and off. Right now it's on phono because it used to run into a phono output on my receiver, and that's where the preamp was. In this case, I want the preamp on, so I'm going to turn it to line, okay? And then here, we just plug in the little power cord. All right, and I will plug in the two RCA cables. And then I will loosen and plug in, or you know, connect the ground here. Basically just do that to it. Hit it. Slide it in behind there. And then crank down on this. There we go. All right. So we got that. So all the connections are made on this end. So we can turn the turntable back around. And we'll drop the power cord down back here. And we'll do that. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the turntable though, and we're gonna connect it into the main speaker here. And uh, you see we've got our little uh, uh, RCA connections. And also if you wanna use a sub, there's a connection for the sub. 
we'll connect that and we will connect this and we can connect the ground by just loosening up a screw and connecting it there uh, but we're just going to roll with this for right now okay we'll take out the power cord And this has just got one of those little uh, shaped connections here. Just plug that in right there. Okay. And now we'll take the speaker wire, and that's going to connect this to the to the passive speaker. So we just take this, undo it. Again, make sure that you're keeping track of which wire goes to which connection. So we've got black and red here. And if, uh, if you're gonna go further than this, it's just simple, just get, a, get you some speaker wire and you can do this with just re regular old speaker wire, so. Okay. So we'll put the red to the red, black to the black. And to do that, all you do is just unscrew that a little bit. And then you can see the little hole in there and then we just screw it down tight on the wire and we're in business and then we'll do the same thing over here black one okay and yes this is bluetooth okay so that is really Super, super cool as far as I'm concerned. And it's something I did not know when I got these. So I'm really, really happy about that. That opens up so many more options for music down here. This is basically an entire stereo system now. Uh, that's a really cool thing if you ask me. Okay. So we'll do the black one first because it's furthest away. And I'll put the wire in there. Okay. And now the red one. These are really nice. Okay. They feel well made. They look great. That back there. All right. And then let's get these connected to the power. Okay, everything's plugged in and ready to go. Okay, so here's the deal. Now I have two two turntables in the house. What do I do about albums? Well, fortunately for me, in some cases I actually have duplicates. Um, as I built my collection, I would buy an album and then I'd find a better version of it. And so, yeah, I, I have some duplicates. So I'm going to have a little collection that I can bring down here. Uh, other options are to split it up in a way that suits you best. But yeah, um, you'll clearly need some sort of music for down here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's start by turning these on. Okay, I guess it's on. Well, that is on, I don't know. <laughs> it would help if I actually had the manual. Okay, we've got power to the turntable. Uh, and I have Cheap Trick at Budokan. Okay, you can never go wrong with Cheap Trick at Budokan. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a whole other cleaning set and all the other accoutrements. All right. Release that. All right, let's see what happens here. Yep, there it is.
so where does that leave us? I'll, I'll tell you where it leaves us. It leaves us in a place that I, I totally expected to be uh, impressed, okay? That is fantastic. Uh, you know, my son had one time had asked about some, uh, you know, a, a setup for Christmas for listening to albums. And I, I was trying to work that out, but he ended up changing his mind. He says, I don't have room for all that. Well, right here, let's see here. Um, right in here somewhere, I'm going to put a picture of the whole setup and all the space the entire thing takes. And you can't tell me you don't have room for that. Okay, you, you do. And when, when you couple in the fact that this has Bluetooth connectivity to it, that's pretty amazing. As far as the, the sound of it, now granted that's a smaller room, um, I, I, I like a lot of volume, okay? I knew going in I'm not going to get the volume I want, but I could still get respectable volume out of that and great sound, okay? Those speakers sounded fantastic. I was very, very impressed. And when you throw in the Bluetooth mixture here, what a home run this thing is. Uh, a, just a fantastic way to set up to start doing vinyl if that's what you're looking for. Or if you want a secondary set in your home and you, you need to pare things down a little bit. There's a lot of great reasons why this is the answer. And, and look in here, in their little catalog. So they've got the... Uh, the AI-41 powered bookshelves. Then they got the AI-61 powered bookshelves. Uh, these have uh, 6.5 inch drivers, 100 watt. So very cool, all right? And then look at this one here. They've got the FI-70 music system. This is a monster. And, and hopefully, hey Florence, you paying attention? Uh, hopefully we can get Florence to send me one of these and we can set it up somewhere else in the house and review this thing because it looks pretty amazing. You know what it looks like to me? It looks like a, a AI-61, like a pair of AI-61 on steroids and just set up on this one single stand unit uh, meant to play whatever it is that you wanna play with it. And I, I'd love to hear that thing. Uh, especially if it's being driven by a Fluence receiver. Okay, so they've got uh, the Elite Series speakers, Reference Series speakers, Signature Series speakers. They've got subs for the bookshelf speakers. Of course, they've got the, the classic turntables, Elites, and Reference sets. So, uh, yeah, Fluence.com. Uh, link is... Uh, showing up right here right now and I'll put it in the description below. Uh, give them a look. I don't think you will be sad with any of their offerings. Okay, that's going to do it for today. Now, you're just going to have to trust me on the Bluetooth thing. Uh, I will put something in the comments about the Bluetooth thing, but because I'm filming with my phone, you know, I, I can't do the two things at once. So I'm going to set up the Bluetooth thing. Um, and I'm going to stream some music to that, the speakers using Bluetooth. And I'll let you know about that. But uh, right now, home run as I fully expected. Okay. All right, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a giant thumbs up. Click subscribe. And don't forget to turn the volume fully up as you crush the notification bell. So you never miss one of my wonderful videos. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to hear from you guys. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go listen to some music. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying, be good.